Hello and welcome back! In this video, I will show you how to use the sequence node in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. So what is a sequence node? Well, the sequence node has one input and many outputs. You can add ed as many pins as you want and it will execute the pins in order. So let's say we have five outputs. So imagine uh, you have an event that runs this node, then it will fire the first pin, the first executable, then it will run the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one in this order from top to bottom. So here's an example on how, of how you could use this. Here I am using a spacebar, and when I press the spacebar, it runs this sequence, and it prints these four numbers. So for output number one, it prints one, for number two, it prints two, and so on. Some reasons why you would use this would be to make your code prettier or to organize the code. Because to do this exact same thing, you could also do it this way. But in some ways, it's a bit uglier. And if you wanted to have a code that runs after this print string, then to add it in this sequence, you would need to break the string, move this down, add the code you want, and then connect it again. It's a bit tedious sometimes. So in some cases, you would use a sequence node. Now bear in mind, this runs in order. So you need to make sure that the order of execution is correct. So this is how it looks like. When I press spacebar, on the top left corner, you can see it prints one, two, three, then four. So that's how the sequence node works. Now imagine you wanted to add a pin between 1 and 2. The way to do it is you right click on one of these pins, then you can insert an execution pin before or insert an execution pin after. So if you click on before, then it will add a pin between 1 and 2. So now you have a new pin here. But if you were to select after, then it's going to add a new pin between 2 and 3. And there we go. So in this way, you can organize your code, make code run in order, and just tidy up blueprints. So this is a very simple node to use, and I found it very useful when working with big projects. So I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and if you have any suggestions on other tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon page in the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. See you soon!